to cybersecurity can be extremely confusing and you may not know where to start. You may be wandering around the internet trying to find resources or people trying to tell you what to do or taking all of these various courses and watching all these different YouTube channels. Your mind might just be jumbled right now. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through a cybersecurity framework on how to learn cybersecurity in five easy steps. Now, this is not meant to be an exhaustive list of all of the possibilities that you could take. However, it is just five steps to give you a better understanding of how to learn cybersecurity from scratch and also exactly what is cybersecurity and what exactly it entails. And so hopefully by the end of the video, you will have a good understanding of exactly where to start and maybe a direction that you want to go into. And that is very important as you really have to know where you want to go in order to be able to even take a first step. So I created this video to save you frustration and help you start your cybersecurity career in the most efficient and effective way. Also, if you have any criticisms about how I can improve these videos, please leave it below. Also like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps the YouTube algorithm and it gives me feedback to where I can improve my videos. So let's get into the video thing you have to know about cybersecurity is that it's IT security. Cybersecurity is just a fancy way of saying IT security. All of these systems have to be secure. So you're going to need to know the basis of IT infrastructure. And this is extremely important as you won't be able to understand various attack types or IDSs or IPSs unless you understand the infrastructure. You're not gonna know how to protect the infrastructure. But the three main things you need to know in IT infrastructure is networking. This is a must. You are gonna have to have a great solid understanding of networking, especially what the OSI model is, DNS, DHCP, routing table, DDoS attack, availability, bandwidth, and these are things you need to know because networking is how data gets from, from one computer to another. So in between that time, it, there's tons of attacks. And a good place to start with this would be Network Plus CompTIA. I wouldn't suggest actually taking the test, but learning those foundations is really good. And then the second one would be CCNA. And this is Cisco specific, but it will be extremely valuable getting past HR and it will also teach you some good fundamentals. I wouldn't go beyond CCNA because it, it traps you into one vendor. And you're going to need to know all types of vendors such as Juniper, Palo Alto, uh, and whatnot. The second basis of infrastructure that you're going to need to know is operating systems. And this includes Windows and Linux. And you're going to need to know the file structures, how to troubleshoot, regex, and how a Windows operating system differs from a Linux operating system. Because when you learn that comparison, you'll understand things way better than if you're just learning about Windows. Also with Linux, Kali Linux is very valuable in learning if you want to go the pen test route so you can download Kali Linux for free and play around with free tools. You do have a little bit of limited of the features that you can use but the next IT infrastructure skill that you're really going to need to know cloud. Now I say the cloud because everything is going to the cloud and it's going to become really big for attacks. So if you can learn the cloud and you can learn security, you will be not only well paid, but you will have almost no competition in you. The place to start learning the cloud is going to be the AWS associate exam. Now you only, you will learn cloud basics, but you'll also learn AWS and how that operates, which is a high demand skill right now with extremely high pay and low competition. So that is definitely something that you want to do. After you have a good basis of IT infrastructure and you understand how internet works and you understand how operating systems works and you understand the operations of everything, then you're really operations of IT and IT department, then you're really going to want to start learning cybersecurity fundamentals. You want to do this second because you're not going to be able to understand or apply any of the concepts you're learning when you're learning cybersecurity if you don't know what a router or a switch is because how do you secure a router or a switch or why do you even need to secure these devices in the first place. And this is where you're going to learn about security controls, IDSs, IPSs, firewalls, which you would learn in CCNA, but you'll go into more in depth, web application, OWASP top 10, and then the various parts of IT that need to be solved. And there's also software security and there's IT security. So this is kind of where you're just gonna dig deep into each one of these and really figure out which one you want to do. Do you wanna go into more application and security? Do you wanna go into networking? 
network security, you want to do OWASP web application testing. There are so many possibilities. So securing a workstation, securing a network, securing an application, these are all really good things to learn. A good place to start learning cybersecurity fundamentals is the CompTIA Security Plus, as this is not only HR approved, it does give you a really good structure on what you should be focusing on, which is a really big problem when you're first starting because you're like, I have no idea. And then you get distracted with all the squirrels and you're just like, look, all the squirrels. The squirrels here and then you're just going here and then there and you just have no idea where you go. Also, mash the like button, please do that now. Once you have your IT foundations and then you have your, your security fundamentals, this will give you a solid base which you can build upon. Now you're going to want to go deep into the various cybersecurity pathways that you can do. There are so many pathways you can do. It's not just one. Remember, cybersecurity is just a fancier way of saying IT security. So everything needs to be secure. Web applications, networks, databases, cloud, software. It's a lot. And there are so many jobs. So you're really going to want to play around with as many tools as possible. Coursera and Pluralsight and Treehouse and Code Academy and Udemy are all great places to play around with this for extremely low cost. I created a video on each one of these cybersecurity pathways and different jobs in each one. You can go check that out right here. First engineer jobs on glassdoor.com and see the skill and the job titles and all of that sort and what you need to get. And don't let the job titles and experience required get you down. Those are their dream candidates and not many people have that experience and they're most likely willing to settle to be honest because remember this is a high demand, low competition field. And if you're willing to get paid a little bit less for a little bit more experience, then that is for you. So now that you have gone through this journey of, you know, learning IT, cybersecurity, choosing a pathway, now you're going to want to choose a training program meant for that cybersecurity pathway in order to efficiently and effectively learn cybersecurity in the quickest amount of time. And this is where the cybersecurity degree versus cert versus courses versus skills come into play. And I'm honestly not someone who really likes certificate or degrees as I kind of useless in a modern day caste system in a way, but I do see that you need to get past HR. That is the front door. Remember, there's always a back door to every system, but I, I do understand if you're just getting started, they really do put you ahead of the other hundred people applying for that same job as it shows that you're interested enough to actually go get a cert or a degree in that field. So I'm not knocking certain degrees. Uh, well, I, ki I kind of am knocking degrees and certifications, but I, I do understand that a lot of employers like it, especially if you want to work for large bureau bureaucratic organizations such as the government or a college or corporate role, then they do help you get an interview. However, smaller companies are a little bit less pushy on the master's degrees and things of that sort. And also there's cybersecurity boot camps that you can do. Personally, I'm not a fan of them because I have no problem sitting down and keeping myself accountable when learning stuff, but I do get how they would be useful if that is something that you are interested in because they're quick and there's someone right there to keep you accountable and you're going to be surrounded by like-minded people who are in the same thing. So it's good for networking. I do see the the benefits of boot camps. I personally wouldn't take a boot camp, but I see why they would be useful. Also, there's blogs and then there's podcasts you can follow. Saturating your mind with cybersecurity will just give you not only an interest in the field, but also a passion. And you, you really want to like this field. If you don't like it, then you're not gonna continuously learn. Um, and then you're gonna get left behind because it's not a field that you can just kind of coast at because it's just continuously changing, which I find absolutely fascinating. Some people don't like it and they just wanna stay in one place forever. But I mean, then there are plenty of jobs that just don't really change. Once you have gone through this, right? Like I, I say it so easy, like you, you learn the IT basics, you, you learn the cybersecurity basics, you got these certifications, you chose a pathway, you went through this training program. Now this is when you're gonna want to hone down your skills. You should be doing this ideally through the first five steps on how to learn cybersecurity, but probably didn't delve deep because you didn't really know what was going on. So now you have those skills and you'll be able to apply them to different scenarios and build your own labs. And this is also a good place to start um, building on your resume and all of your projects because if you can put that on your resume that you have experience doing this then it gets you apart from probably the majority of people as number one they're probably complacent in their job and they stopped learning 
Or number two, they didn't really bother to make the effort to go out and get their own experience, do their own lab, and show that they don't need a company to hand hold them, which is also a really good trait to have in IT, as you're gonna have to self-manage yourself and your project and just continuously learn. A good place to start, build your own Linux VM and install Kali Linux, play around with Burp Suite and Metasploit, as those are really good tools to have and know in cybersecurity. Um, cybersecurity, cybersecurity. <laughs> I'm gonna get this right. Also build the Windows Active Directory environment as Active Directory is a huge target for attacks. And if you know Active Directory, you will have a job. Trust me, learn everything about Active Directory. And those are the five steps on how to learn cybersecurity. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you liked this video on cybersecurity and again, um, leave me constructive criticism about things that I could improve. That way uh, I continuously just get better at making these videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.